Hey guys, welcome back. And this is Samsung Galaxy S7 Plus 5G. Uh, I'm not reviewing a device. If you want me to review a device, post your comments below and we'll see what we can do about that. This is about Service Shadow, which is a cloud-based Windows 10, 64-bit. Um, watch one of my videos I posted uh, prior um, and it talks about Shadow what the service is, how to sign up for it. Briefly, you could go to shadow.tech and here is where you sign up for this service. Let me lower it so you can see. This is where you sign up for the service. It gives you some ideas what the service is. It is. It could be worked on, um, It. I have, I'm using it on my Windows devices, my Android and my iOS, my Apple TV you could use it on whatever the device you have as long as they support it of course which you want to find out what devices they support I haven't had any issues with installing it on whatever the devices I own so this like I said this is um, Samsung Tab Galaxy S7 Plus 5G and again this is what I was referring to when I was talking about display, sound, battery, and portability. This is a 5G device and it is connected to my 5G cellular through T-Mobile. I get amazing speeds on this. I love the display. This is AMOLED 2K display. The sound is amazing. The battery lasts forever. Love it. Like I. I'm a fan of Android and just because of what Android offers. But I my main device is iPhone just because of the iMessage. And this is how Apple sucks you in. Just because they get you into good service that you're stuck with them. But I still I always like I have the um, the Note 20 Ultra. I have um, the S21 Ultra. And I'll go over this if you want to further find out what this is all about. This is how I get to use Shadow to play games on it. Anyway, so let's go into the whole Shadow experience. So I have the official keyboard that um, comes with um, the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. There's a kickstand behind it. Um, so I'm going to slide up and then... Because this keyboard also offer or like offers gestures. Here's Shadow. So in this scenario, you get to have sometimes it does start like this and on Android. You have games. So you don't have to go into desktop mode, which is right here. You could just straight start with the games. And it gives you the full immersive uh, game experience. You could go into settings over here. Uh, like you would in a desktop mode. Let me delete this. I don't like any. So you have all the settings here. And here, low bandwidth, um, adapt to max bitrate. You can see it says 120 frames per second, and it's 20, 280, uh, 2800 by 1752. Here you have visual controller, PlayStation, uh, control extended compatibility, Enable microphone, disable speak, uh, special gestures. Like you have, it's similar uh, settings as you get on all the other devices. But we're going to the shadow desktop. Let me lower the brightness so you guys can see. Here you go. It offers exact same experience as you would get on all the other devices. Exact same thing. Here's your. You click on it. You could also actually, a lot of people like on Reddit, they, they refer like, how do you move this? Here you go, you just drag it. I could put it right here if you want, right here. So you click on this, it gives you your, the five shortcuts on the bottom. You have vi virtual control, so if you wanna play virtual on the bottom with the controllers you can get from the regular Play, um, play Store. Then you have shortcuts, let me show you how shortcuts work. Let's say if I open here, if I open the Microsoft Store, 
and I don't want to use it anymore. So let's say I click over here, then shortcut, and I click close windows, and it closes. You, could, you have that if you want to use it, and then you slide down for it to go away. But because it's a fully fledged Windows, you could use your regular cursor and do the same um, things that you do on a regular Windows laptop. So here you got same games. It's the same experience as the iPad, as Mac, as um, any of them. It's the same thing on all the devices that they support. Um, you have the games here. Um, you could um, connect the PlayStation controller and play games with it. If you don't want to use that, you could also like use it without the keyboard. And let me show you how it works without the keyboard. Um, so here you go. Like if you want to go to the website, now you have no keyboard. So to use the keyboard, you would have to go into here. The settings it gives you a shortcut and then you get the keyboard and then you let's say you go to Apple right click enter and it takes you to the Apple the only thing like I said I don't like is that this type of experience it's not optimized and hopefully they will at some point offer a touch capability where you could use this by dragging up and down it's not available as of yet but you can drag it this way by carefully picking up the finger and then just get it where you want it to be. Close it, same thing over here. You close this, get over here to the settings, um, start menu, and then you can't do this, but if you catch it over here, here you go. Like it could get to this. It's If you can maximize this and things become a lot easier like when it's maximized, here you go like you could drag this down and get it that's the beauty of it like I think the fact that they offer this um, maximizing and getting things done you could do it um, obviously it works better with the keyboard which the tab is 7 plus uh, offers it and I get to play games and watch the movies, go to the whatever the website that I need, email, and I have the 5G connectivity wherever I need to go, which is what I was looking for, and I'm definitely getting my money's worth by going with the service. Uh, I'm not going to go into gameplay because I showed it on the iPad, and so is Mac, uh, MacBook Pro. It is very similar experience. I will show how I do things. Um, let's say my, um, I have Samsung Galaxy Fold, Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2, and I'll show how I do gameplay on that, same as a touch control. Okay, any questions, post below. Thanks for watching.